Hey guys, we're going to be taking a look at some disgusting car upholstery and carpets and this is actually a gift detail so I'm not charging anything for it and we're just going to do some surface level extraction and cleaning but it's going to be awesome to watch and there's going to be a dramatic before and after so this is going to be interesting. So here's the before you guys can see it is disgusting. All right, so as you guys are looking at the before, I wanna to explain to you just a little bit of context for this video. So this is not actually a paid detail job. This is just a little thing I'm doing as a gift and for a good video to somebody who desperately needed it. So this is actually only going to be me extracting and cleaning the floor mats and the upholstery, the seats. So I'm not gonna be vacuuming or shampooing the carpet um, that's in the car, the floor, um, but I am gonna be addressing the mats and the seats because uh, somebody else is going to do everything else, but I'm just going to be doing this here. So there's tons of stains. This car is extremely old, extremely beat up from Coke spills, coffee spills, um, sweat, like everything else you can think of. That's what we're looking at here. So just to give you guys a little bit of an overview of the process of the mats I'm going to take here. I started out using a uh, garden hose here just with a regular little, uh, sp or it's not spigot, but a regular, um, what would I call spray nozzle attached to it. But then I was like, okay, I need to pull out my pressure washer here. <laughs> Why did I think a regular spray nozzle would work? So I'm going to pull out my pressure washer, get a little bit wet. And before I do anything to the mat, as you guys can see, obviously I'm shampooing it right now, but before I start shampooing, I'm going to take that pressure washer, as you guys are going to see, I'm going to push as much dirt and as much mud as I can out of the floor mat before I start shampooing it. So you'll see I'll be real strategic with that. Then I'm going to take some full strength, super clean degreaser in the aerosol can. It's their foaming cleaner. It's a fantastic, fantastic cleaner. And I'm going to spray it all over the mat, use my drill brush to agitate all of that up as much as I can. In this case, I took the steamer on the rest of the mats. I'm not going to be taking the steamer. But in this case, because it was the driver's floorboard and really, really bad, I took the steamer. And then I'm going to be pushing all of that dirt out. Now, I actually did this a couple more times than I showed in the video with this driver's mat. I probably did that process about three times, <laughs> but I kind of cut to the chase here so you guys didn't have to watch it over and over again. But as you can see, being really, really strategic with the uh, pressure washer itself, being real, holding it real close, and just slowly pushing that dirt off until all I can see is white uh, water, or not white water, but white suds and clear water. But here again, even after what you guys just saw, this is actually a second time that I'm having to hit the mat. Now again, I did this probably three to five times. I can't even remember exactly how many, but you can see as I put the nozzle close to the floor mat, all that gunk is still coming up, and that is called years of nozzle detailing a car and pretty much living in it with like animals okay so finally when I get all of that finished I'm gonna use my mighty extractor it's a heated carpet extractor and yes I am gonna use the heated uh, water spigot there and throw some or water nozzle but throw some hot water on it as I'm extracting it but I'm also using that to pull out all of that water because well, there's a lot of water after all of that. So I'm going to be doing that for the rest of the floorboard. So again, the system is really simple. It's number one, pressure wash all the dirt and all the crap out that I can before I do anything. Number two, use my full strength, super clean aerosol can foam cleaner agitate it with a medium drill brush, a medium stiffness drill brush, a yellow one. Um, those are my Wilson auto detailing drill brushes. Of course, I'll link all that stuff up in the YouTube description box below, but do it with the medium stiffness one because it's just that bad. Then I'm going to go ahead and rinse it with the pressure washer, be real detailed, do that as many times as I need to. And then of course, take my extractor in the end, pull out all that water. And uh, so this is what this looks like for the rest of the floor mats. Now, even though I did this job for free, I want to show you guys how I would have priced it in the Mobile Tech RX app. I hit new estimate, go to scan VIN, and you can scan the VIN number, and it'll auto-populate all of the info for the car. After that, I'm going to put some photos in of the damage and the excessive staining and dirt that's in this car, particularly on the driver's seat, back seat, and the passenger seat. Then I'm going to go into the details section, get the package that I'm using, the upholstery and floor mat, really dirty package, add a conditional factor. We're going to add the conditional factor of the excessive stains first and then estimate it'll take about an hour and a half to finish those excessive stains because the dirt is so severe. Scroll down. If I would have been doing this professionally, again, not for free, I would have been doing a headliner cleaning as well. Estimate about 45 minutes for that. Go ahead and click save on all of those fronts and then it'll bring me back here. I'm going to 
connect it with Sarah M, who is the customer, and there we go. I can have her approve the estimate very simply, email or call her with all that info, and invoice her right there from the work order in the app. So if you guys want to check out Mobile Tech RX and this technology, hit the link below. There's a 60-day free trial right now, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. Don't miss out on that. All right, guys, now to the fun part, extracting the upholstery. This is going to be awesome. So make sure you watch this to the end because this is going to be quite the sight here because these seats are, uh, how you say, disgusting. Okay, so first I'm going to do kind of the same process uh, minus the pressure washer. Don't want to take the pressure washer to the inside of the car. That would not be a good idea. So I'm going to take uh, a cleaner here. I'm actually using a heavier diluted version of Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. Um, I wanted to see how well Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner at a heavier dilution than I normally do would uh, work in this scenario. So normally I keep it at about 10 to 1, but here this is more like 4 to 1 to 3 to 1. Probably 4 to 1 would be a safer bet. Um, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. I really soak the seat with that cleaner, and then I'm going to use a white uh, Wilson Auto Detailing drill brush to agitate that cleaner. Now, this is, like I said, a gift uh, detail. I'm not charging anything for this. This was actually for a friend who is pregnant and uh, is going to have a baby soon. And so all I'm doing is actually addressing more or less the face of the seat. So I'm not going to be crazy detailed like I would if I was charging. In other words, I'm not going to be doing crazy extraction and stuff on the sides of the seat and on the back of the seat and all around. I'm just kind of hitting where people sit um, because that's really all that we needed to do here um, in light of the circumstance. So, that being said, after I agitate it with the drill brush, I'm then going to just take my Mighty uh, Extractor and take it to the seat. Now, a couple things here. Um, when seats are this disgusting and the upholstery is really this bad, you can see there's a lot of tears and stuff like that. And yes, I am pulling the Mighty over those tears. Yes, there's going to be some water that gets into that foam kind of interface that's inside of the seat. That's going to happen regardless if there's tears in the seat or not. That's just kind of the nature of the beast. But you can see here, I'm not just taking my extractor one row at a time really slowly back and forth back and forth back and forth I'm really doing it a lot more aggressively here meaning I'm kind of moving in every direction, all which way, all over the seat with the extractor while the nozzle or while the trigger is held down, spraying water, sucking it up. I'm not being super like uh, pattern oriented, I guess. And the reason I say that is just because when you have seats that are this bad, um, first of all, you're not going to damage anything because it's kind of like, hey, you can only go up from here. But uh, second of all, in my... Uh, nine, eight, almost a decade actually of, of auto detailing experience, but nine years of auto detailing experience with seats like this. I prefer doing it in the manner you see me doing it right now on the GoPro camera here, back and forth all over different patterns, holding the trigger down. It allows me to, uh, what would I say? address every area of the seat aggressively rather than taking all that time to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to be steady about my movements and keeping the pattern and not putting too much water in. It's kind of like, hey, in a situation like this, it's time to be aggressive. It's not time to move slowly like I would if I was dealing with like a more, uh, a newer car that wasn't quite as dirty. And so you guys see me kind of moving along and that's, that's kind of why I'm doing that. I'd also like to say that just while you guys are watching this, um, a lot of times when you're extracting, you know, uh, people kind of, oh, I think, overestimate the power of an extractor. Obviously, you could never take on a job like this without an extractor. Like, this kind of job would never look the way it's going to look afterwards if you only were to address it with, say, a cleaner, a brush, and a microfiber towel. You have to suck stuff out of this seat in order for it to really be restored. But even after that, I will say, because of the color of this upholstery, because of this type of situation, how long these stains have sat here, and what kinds of stain they are... <clears throat> Uh, coffee stains, <laughs> um, and, and way worse than that, by the way you're not going to be able to pull it all out. And so while it looks really, really good because uh, you're extracting it and it's wet, as it dries in the sun while it's warm outside, you are probably going to notice some of those stains resurfacing. Now, yes, you can get kind of some upholstery specific like enzyme cleaners to address those. And yes, I have plenty of those on my shelf. But in my experience, I kind of can 
look at something and figure out what's going to work in the moment. So that's why I kind of chose the, uh, the uh, approach I'm taking now. You'll be able to see a lot of those stains coming up, but I will say don't be too surprised or disappointed when some of those kind of appear maybe a bit more faded in the end. Um, maybe they're not completely there, but they are there at some degree um, where you can see them just with your naked eye. That is the nature of the beast. It is what it is. And yes, extractors will improve your world so much, but at the same time, they have their limitations just like everything else does. I will say it's very important to make sure you wipe down the seat afterwards, dry it as the surface as much as you can with a simple microfiber towel before moving on. I'm also using a uh, just a regular hand uh, kind of agitation brush because I want to compare it to what it looks like with the drill brush. But you guys can see all that nastiness that's coming out of my extractor. I actually had a three gallon bucket to catch it all and realized that was not enough and I got all of it on the ground. So that was unfortunate. But um, anyway, I used a, a hand, just regular hand brush here, not a drill brush because I wanted to see what kind of results I could get on this seat without using the drill brush to see how much of a difference it made in this situation. And I will say, guys, made a huge difference, like gigantic difference. <laughs> the drill brush is just kind of one of those things that's like, hey, they're not expensive. They improve your world hugely. It's just like a non-negotiable. But that being said, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this video as I attack the rest of this seat and the passenger seat. And here is what it looks like. All right, here we go for the big reveal. So this is what the after result looks like. Again, no vacuuming or shampooing of the floorboards, no uh, detailing of any kind other than addressing the floor mats and the upholstery. And again, not really addressing the sides of the upholstery or the seat belts or even the front of the upholstery. Again, just kind of the face of things. That was what the uh, situation called for. That was what the agreement was based on the scenario here. And so here's what the after result looks like. Again, dramatic, dramatic improvement. Absolutely not 100% perfection. Um, but again, for the sake of what this was, this is a huge improvement. And I actually talked to the uh, client afterwards, and she was so, so, so stoked. So nothing feels better than having a client react really, really well, um, especially in a situation like this when it was really uh, something that needed to be done and something that uh, she needed. So there we go.
And that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community and you like videos like this, then definitely subscribe and tap the bell icon so you guys don't miss any future videos that I put out just like this. Thank you guys for watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.